Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. Normally, you don't see the studio like this. The green screen effect is not on. I'm showing you the bare bones studio as it is before I apply chroma key, the green screen effect. What I wanted to show you was, as you could see, the uh, DIY shower curtain audio treatment I hung up is gone. It fell down. It was just a temporary thing. I had it up with gaffer's tape, uh, gaffer two the rafter beams, which it didn't hold for that long. A couple days, actually. It was up, a well, few days, actually. It was up there for a while. Uh, you can see here they're on the floor on either side. They've fallen down. Um, and the reason I'm doing this video, I want to show you guys this and show you that they're down. And you could probably hear the, the open room effect in here, the kind of echo in the bare walls, is I've got some audio treatment to put up some better stuff. Let me show you what I got. Hang on a sec. Okay, so as you could see, hopefully you could see, um, we got a lot of stuff here. This, the key to all this was doing it on the cheap, DIY. Um, we've got quite a few things here, all salvaged from a charity shop, in this case, Salvation Army. I've got two actually really nice towels in great shape, um, quite large, thick towels. So these, the plan is that these are gonna go overhead into the rafters are not into them, but hanging from and over top of any of the ventilation pipes and stop any echo into the ceiling and off of the tin or metal ventilation pipes. So we've got two of those and I scored those for, I think they were $3 a piece. No, $2 a piece. So four bucks for two large thick towels. Pretty good deal. This is a tablecloth. So fairly large, not that thick. But um, again, I think this was, oh, you know what it was? Salvation Army had a stuff a bag for five bucks day. So I was able to stuff, um, what they did was they give you like a, a normal shopping bag. So um, you, you shop it with, or stuff it with everything you can, cost you five bucks. So this I stuffed in there. I got these in there. You can, these are curtains. You can see they're lined on the one side and kind of cream colored on the other. I tried to stay neutral colors just for light reflection. Um, so it's a large curtain panel and there's two of them. There's two of them here. They even have the hooks in them. So um, those are gonna get put up in place of where the sh cheap shower curtains were. So we're gonna hang those along each side. And then we've got, this was a great find because this is a, a huge king size custom made um, bedspread cover. So um, I don't think too many people use these nowadays, but it's literally a bedspread. So it's not, it's just more for, for looks. It is lined, so it has a backing to it. So it should provide, it's quite heavy. It's a, it's a large, heavy uh, unit, but because it's a king, it's quite long. So we can use, probably use this, the king size bedspread cover on one side and the two panels of curtain on the other. And then I've got the um, tablecloth that I can probably fold in half and either hang it somewhere or put it further into the roof along with the um, the towels and we can get let's see if I can sit down and still see over all this stuff uh, we can get hopefully some very um, better sound effect because um, the key here was is the towels were, were two bucks each so four dollars and all of this material which is a lot to be hanging and it should create a good audio effect um, cost me $10 and there's a lot here. If I was to go and buy plain material from the store, um, like from a material shop, or if I was to buy audio foam, we'd be looking at a lot more money here. Now, I'm doing this DIY and I think it will work very well. I should put the caveat in that if it doesn't, I'm perfectly willing to spend the money on audio foam and do the studio up technically correctly. However, from what I've seen from other people what they've done and from what I've heard, you can do it very well with this type of materials. In fact, perhaps better. So stay tuned, we'll be back in a minute once I've got all this up and you can tell me what you think of the sound versus the sound you're hearing now. Okay, so we've got the new audio treatment up. I've got the king size bedspread, uh, the lined one with the white inners. I've got the white out to me, so we're minimizing any type of color contamination. I've got one of the curtain panels hanging. The other one's still right here. I've got it to my left, and I've got it hanging lengthwise instead of 
uh, its normal orientation up and down because I was able, it comes down below the edge of the desk here and gives me about six, six to almost eight feet, I think. Uh, we've got the two towels up overhead, wrapping, essentially wrapping. They're just hanging over. They're strung across and over bowed, as you can see in the picture here, um, of the ventilation pipe. So that should mask that. We've also got the tablecloth hanging about a foot off the wall behind the camera, behind um, you guys, <laughs> behind the camera, the G85 there. Uh, and it's hung lengthwise, so we're getting about eight feet and probably close to six feet down. So it's giving that wall a good mask. I still have that old chunk of styrofoam. There's an eight by four sheet of styrofoam on the bottom of that wall too. So that gives some audio masking there too. We've got this final curtain panel. I just wanted to check in with you and let you hear what this sounds like. I'm gonna put this panel um, continuing down the wall to the, the back of this left curtain panel, uh, but out one, just for a little bit of, of, a, of a baffling. And uh, um, also the point there is we're getting closer to the green screen. So I want to back it out closer to the wall so that you're not seeing it or it's not contaminating a photo. Um, let's flip back to the no audio treatment first section of this and show you that they're down. And you could probably hear the, the open room effect in here, the kind of echo in the bare walls. And now you can hear with the audio treatment, one curtain panel to my left, the king size blanket hanging to my right, the tablecloth hanging on the wall an eight by six approximately behind the camera, about a foot off the wall, and the two big fluffy towels hanging over the ceiling over the vent pipe. Uh, to my ears, it's much better already. Uh, let's hang up this curtain, this final panel, and we'll get back to you and you can hear what the sound is with all of the treatment up. And then we'll see, um, you guys can let me know. Do I need to get more and keep trying? Maybe build some actual acoustic panels and hang them? Let me know. Final panel is hung. It's back there behind the first panel. Got a bit of separation, but then I don't think that matters. We're looking for treatment, audio treatment of the entire room. Sometimes you'll see an audio treatment, just panels hung throughout the room just to absorb and deflect. And I think I'm going to get some more towels, but to my ear, the room sounds much better already. It doesn't have anywhere near the reverb and echo that I was hearing at the mids, highs, and lows. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Let's flip back to the original when I didn't have any treatment up and show you that they're down and you could probably hear the, the open room effect in here, the kind of echo in the bare walls. And here we are back to the new treatment. Again, tablecloth behind the camera, about six by eight, hanging about a foot off the wall. Curtain panel, six by, well no, eight by six or something to my left, hanging lengthwise. Another one uh, beyond it, hanging lengthwise along the left wall. So that's taking that back about 12 feet in total. We've got the huge king size bedspread hanging um, lengthwise, and that's to my right. And we've got the two big towels hanging, wrapping essentially the uh, ventilation system. So I think if I add any more to this room, it probably won't be any more curtains or panels like that. Although I guess it all depends what you find at the Sally Ann. Um, I'll probably add more towels. For those of you that are wondering how I hung everything, the tablecloth, the curtain panels, the king size bedspread. I got one of these. It's a uh, eyelet toolkit. So they're, they're fairly inexpensive. I think it cost me about $8. I'll put a link below. You can check it out. It comes with these uh, little eyelets here. And you basically take an eyelet and you put it on the tool, like almost like a hole punch. And you put in your piece of fabric in there. And you give it a good squeeze and it punches the eyelet through. And then it's, it's like putting a grommet in essentially. Uh, you wouldn't want to do this to your good tablecloths that you want to use for public or for guests. Uh, but certainly when you're buying stuff like I did from uh, a charity shop, the Salvation Army, the Goodwill, something like that, um, it's not a big deal because um, it's only intended for this. So I punched the corners and along where I wanted them to hang. And then I just took uh, penny nails. I've got a box here. What did I do with those? So these are two inch, uh, they call them smooth finishing nails. I call them penny nails. I don't know if that's correct. Uh, two inch, um, smooth, and I wanted it so there wasn't a large head. So then I could just hang these eyelets. You can see here, will go right over the head. So that's how I hung everything. It's cheap and easy. Now, one of the advantages is I've got rafters here that I can pound some nails into. If you have a finished room, you might have to do it a little differently. 
but again, a finished room might not have as quite the audio echo that we had in here. Uh, now, the other thing I should note is I'm fully aware that in some studios, you like this DIY treatment here, the way it looks here, um, isn't a problem because now you can see I'm using the great screen and you don't see it. If you're in a studio where you need the studio to be evident, then this is obviously not the route you're going to go in the sense of if you want the studio to look good. This studio is set up as a green, uh, green screen studio, a chroma key studio. So the look of it isn't really an issue for me. And the way I've hung these, they all come down very easily uh, because I'm probably going to be using different sections of the wall for non-green screen backgrounds that I'm going to put up later and I've got some ideas for that. So let me know what you guys think. How does it sound now? I think to my ear, it does sound much better. And let me know if you think I need to continue to add to it uh, or let, let me know if you think it sounds much better. Leave it in the comments below. Uh, looking forward to hearing your feedback because uh, you guys are the ones that uh, I did this for. So it sounds good when you're listening to me uh, when we're discussing cameras. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.